Tonight, we're going to be talking about gout. All right. It's going to be all about gout. So if you're struggling with this department, you definitely need to tune in. All right, here we go. So for this Challenge Wednesday, we have our patient, Barry. And Barry is a construction worker with mild back pain and acute onset of gout affecting his first metatarsal phalangeal joints. The patient complains of significant back pain during lifting activities at work. Which of the following recommendations will the patient find the most problematic? So we have A, squat lift maneuver with a wide base of support. B, lunge lift maneuver with the box held close to the body. C, golfer's lift maneuver with single arm supported. And D, is standing pivot technique. All right, so let's go up to the top as we normally do and check out our patient. We got Barry, and he's this construction worker. Makes sense. All that's pretty straightforward. Now, he has mild back pain, all right, and that's nothing that we're, we're too crazy about, right? We, we know that our patients tend to get back pain. There's nothing crazy. But the one thing I want to make known is that we don't know what type of back pain he has. Like, we don't need to assume anything. We don't need to assume that this is spinal stenosis. We don't need to do that right now. We don't have that information. Now, as it continues down, it says, and an acute onset of gout affecting his first metatarsal phalangeal joints. All right. Now, if you're not too familiar with gout, you need to be for the MPTE. It's really important. It's one of those conditions that comes up in patients who tend to be male. They tend to be over 30. They have made possibly excessive use of alcohol, but, but, but there's other reasons why they can get it. It could be hereditary or it could be you know, just this excessive increase of uric acid in the bloodstream. All right. And that could be because of the food that they eat. Again, that could be because their kidneys aren't filtering out the uric acid very well. All right. And so it can create this hyper uric acid situation where there's a lot of uric acid in the bloodstream. Now, why is that important? Well, it's important because the uric acid, it can settle in specific joints of the body. All right. And it turns into these crystals that actually it's kind of like you have an ice picks. All right, you may not have had this before, I understand, but just imagine like freaking ice picks in your joints. How would that feel? Pretty bad, right? Well, one particular joint that's often affected with gout is the metatarsal phalangeal joints, specifically the first metatarsal phalangeal joint. And that's exactly what this question says, y'all, right here. The patient has mild back pain and an acute onset of gout affecting his first metatarsal phalangeal joints, both sides. It's important. I'm going to go ahead and underline that. All right. Now we continue down. It says the patient complains of significant back pain during lifting activities at work. And that's something to keep in mind as well. Possibly the patient's not, you know, using the correct bio, uh, body mechanics or that sort of thing. So it's something to keep in mind. And it says, which of the following recommendations will the patient find most problematic? So if we give a patient a recommendation, which one of these will the patient find the most problematic? So let's go through our answer choice again for those of you on the podcast. Here we go. A says squat lift maneuver with a wide base of support. B is lunge lift maneuver with the box held close to the body. C is golfer's lift maneuver with single arm supported. And D is standing pivot technique. Let's look at A first. Squat lift maneuver with a wide base of support. Now, you can think about what that means, all right? You can picture the patient going down into an appropriate squat position, picking up the box with that wide base of support and lifting it, right? Now, this answer is supposed to be taken literal. Don't try to assume or add anything like, oh, well, the squat lift could be performed in a weird position. No, 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 that's not what the question says. It's not what the answer choice says. It says squat lift maneuver with a wide base of support, assuming that it's done correctly, will the patient find this the most problematic? You know what, I would say no. The reason being is that I find that the squat lift maneuver when done correctly is very safe for the lower back, doesn't produce a lot of pain or anything like that. Um, and it also isn't going to affect the first metatarsal joints either, right? Like it's not putting undue stress at those joints. So I don't think that this will be a very problematic thing. 
I'm going to put an X next to it for now, but we need to look at the remainder of the answer choices. B says lunge lift maneuver with the box held close to the body. Lunge lift maneuver. So think about you going into a lunge. Again, this is, um, you know, when it's done correctly, think about you doing a lunge. I think that it's great for the back, especially when the box is held close to the body. I think that that's perfect for the back. It's a very appropriate way to lift the box. Now, here's the deal. Is it good for the metatarsal phalangeal joints? Because we've got to keep that in mind, too. And the one thing that really gets me is the fact that I'm thinking about a person doing lunge. And those of you who are with me right now, you can see me kind of drawing out real quick. And you know how that front leg is straight out and, and, and you got the foot and it's pretty level with the ground, right? It's pretty straight out. You don't got uh, too much dorsiflex and plantar flexion. You don't got much mo motion at the first metatarsal. So that's good. But when I'm thinking about that back leg, though, I'm thinking about you know, where the toes are actually at in that position. That rear leg, aren't the, aren't the, uh, the, the toes actually an extension as you're resting in that position? Man, that is going to put a lot of stress on that first metatarsal joint. And I know if this person has acute onset of gout, man, that's probably going to flare it up pretty bad. So that's going to be pretty problematic. I don't like this answer right now. I don't like lunge lift. Doesn't mean it's the right one, but I don't like it for now. All right, for the, for the patient actually doing it. I do believe that this is going to be a problematic thing. All right, uh, so let's look at our other answer choices really quick and see. All right, next one says C, golfers lift maneuver with single arm support. Again, when it's done correctly, it's an appropriate way to lift an object. Typically something that's light, but the question doesn't say anything about the heaviness of the objects that he's lifting. Doesn't say anything about that. So the golfer's lift is appropriate for the lower back. The question is, is it appropriate for the metatarsal joints? And I would say, yeah. There's not a lot of stress going through the metatarsal joints with the golfer's lift maneuver. If you're not familiar with that one, you definitely need to check it on on YouTube. Just put in golfer's lift maneuver. Should be able to see what that looks like. The person stands on one leg and they're going to dip themselves down and grab with a single hand whatever object that they're trying to lift but the other leg gets extended behind them. You need to check that one out online if you're not familiar with it. You need to be ready for it for the MPTE. Bottom line here, it's not gonna be problematic for this patient. I don't see any reason why it would be. Let me put an X next to that one. D, standing pivot transfer, or standing pivot technique. Sorry, standing pivot technique. So let's think about that for a minute because I had a couple people that were thinking something different. They were thinking about, okay, you kind of lift and pivot at the same time, but that's not what standing pivot technique is. It's actually like, imagine this, that you had like a box that's on top of a table, right? At home, right? You have a box on top of a table. And what you do is you pick up the box and then you, um, in one motion, you rotate your entire body together. All right, so it's rotating the lower extremity, it's rotating the back all as one piece, so you're not actually, you know, rotating the body a lot. It's, it's almost like a log rolling where everything is kind of going together in one piece instead of twisting at the back. That's what's considered to be the standing pivot technique. And again, to avoid rotating the lumbar spine. Now, is this a good technique, do you think, for the lumbar spine? 100%, it's appropriate. How about for the first metatarsal joints? Am I going to put undue stress on the metatarsal joints by doing this? Hex no. And so guess what I can do? I can go ahead and eliminate that answer choice. So the question is asking you, which of the following recommendations will the patient find the most problematic? Definitely that lunge lift maneuver. Definitely. Even though they're holding the box close to the body, which is good for the lower back. When you look at the rear leg, do it yourself. Hop out the car real quick. Do a lunge. You'll see that on that rear leg, your toes go into extension, and that's going to be super problematic, super painful for a patient with gout. Final answer here is B, baby. Let's freaking go. For those of you who got this question correct, congratulations. This one is not easy. All right, You have to really have an understanding of what gout is. All right, but you also have to keep in mind what are the patient's impairments? It's the lower back pain, yeah, 
All right, we got to keep that in mind. But we also have to keep in mind that the patient has pain in the metatarsal phalangeal joints. So your answer has to satisfy both of them, not just one. So I was really in this question looking for an answer choice that made it safe for the lower back and both metatarsal phalangeal joints. All right. And unfortunately for the lunge lift, you're the one that's the most problematic, making it the correct answer in this question. Again, congratulations to those who got this question correct.